I can't understand why the school system he had a he didn't like to wear a belt now he was a little fellow I, I wasn't I guess he had some pants on that was a little bit big on him he he would when he was at church and stuff he'd take and play football he'd hold his pants up with one hand and run but I don't understand why the school system give him a real long rope to hold his pants up and then when they send him to that timeout room they take their uh, excuse me, they call it seclusion room, I guess. Um, they give him a rope to hold his pants up, and they, before he goes in there, they go and take his shoes and stuff, but they let him have the rope. And apparently, well, and then he, uh, I don't know what all, he took and hung himself in that room. They left it in there, and the teacher was supposed to have been sitting right there. No, I mean, I, the teacher was right there. The day of the accident, when we was at the hospital, a school official come up to us and he said, I'm here to answer any questions for y'all. Uh, we asked him, you know, why did they leave him in there with the rope? And all we kept hearing was, oh, I don't have that answer, I wasn't there. And every answer we asked him, the comment was, I don't know, I wasn't there. You know, I felt like he wasn't there to answer no questions. Cause he didn't have no answers for the stuff, you know, for the accident, for what happened to to my son that they let go, lose his life. I don't know. They took my pride and joy from me. That was my sidekick. Maybe me and him was real close. It, it hurts every day when you come in the driveway. And he's not around no more.